Everybody, it's Amy and we are out here at the Cahovnanian community of the Highlands at Summer Lake Groves here in Winter Garden, Florida. You can tell that this area is growing, it is thriving because there is construction all around us. Hi everybody! <laughs> There seriously is construction everywhere. So this might be a little bit of a loud video, but I have to show you this home. So let's come on in and take a look. This is an inventory home here. This is their Harper floor plan. Um, and boy, it is an amazing floor plan. Not only is the floor plan amazing, but the design choices, wow, it's so much more quiet now when I come inside. Okay, um, it's the design choices in this home really make it spectacular. Not only the design choices, but wait until you see the lot. Okay. So you've come in the front door and you have this great foyer here. You have this beautiful arch right here. And over here to my right, to your left, you have this extra space. You can use this as an office, as a formal living room, if that's what you choose to do. It's nice when you have these rooms here at the front of the home, if you were to choose to use it as an office, so that you're kind of away from all the, the crazy chaos of your, of your real life. And if you were to have clients come over, you've got this private space. You could also use this as just a formal living room, sitting area, whatever you like. But I love the flooring that they have chosen. And it is extended not only throughout this, um, the hallway, but up the stairs and into that area as well. So as you continue to come in, you'll see the staircase over here to your left. We'll go up that in just a minute because there's so much fun to see upstairs. But you can again see the wood. You can see the dark stain here with the iron spindles. We are now in the formal dining room. So the formal dining room is the next area that you're going to see as you enter the house. And let's be honest, if you're like most people, there's very few homes in your or rooms in your home that probably stay decently clean, tidy and organized. Dining room is probably one of them. So here you go. You have this great entryway and you can again keep all the chaos back there. You have this beautiful big dining room, this fantastic flooring and these big double windows that let in that beautiful Florida sunshine. Now this is something a little bit unique back behind me. You have this tucked away little extra storage area. Again, they've continued the flooring throughout, but you have a great area over here that you can tuck away some additional things. So think about that for a second. Maybe you have a piece of furniture, maybe a little wine rack. Maybe there's something that you want to kind of tuck away out of the way, but you want to have it still connected to the dining room. So that might be a great option for you. All right. So when you come in through this way, you have your powder bath over here to your left. So you just have your nice little powder bath here. Again, same flooring is extended throughout. Powder bath is a powder bath. You have a sink, you have a mirror, you have a toilet. But over here, you have this great entry area. Now you have your two car garage, which is over here. And in this particular one, you have two separate garage bays, so or garage doors. So, you know, again, that's nice. You can um, open one at a time if that's what you need. As soon as you come in after that hard day's work, you have your drop zone or your launch zone right over here. A great place for you to charge your phones, charge all of your technical apparatus. You've got drawers, you've got cabinets. And let's take a minute to look at that for a second. You have a really beautiful, beautiful cabinet with some nice fresh nickel um, hardware on it. And your granite here is white, grays, blacks, creams. I mean, there's really, it's a beautiful, beautiful neutral palette that you could pull out whatever color in it you want. Now back behind me through this pocket door, that's right, pocket door, pocket door, hello. You don't see many of these anymore. I don't know why the builders don't like to use them as much, but they're so perfect for a situation just like this. You can close off this uh, laundry room area, which by the way, you have the washer dryer, but do you see all of this space that I still have right here? There's so much room in here. You can add more cabinets and counters if that's what you want. If you've got a little craft area, if you need a folding table, whatever, you've got extra space back in there. All right, so now I need you to prepare yourself because this kitchen is phenomenal. If you haven't liked this house yet, take a look at this kitchen. I absolutely adore this kitchen. It's beautiful. Every element of it is perfection. Every design choice is absolutely spot on perfect. This granite, by the way, this is not the same granite that we saw in the bathrooms. And I like that. I like to remind people, you can mix it up a little bit. You don't have to have the same, same in every room. You could do something neat and creative and wow, they've knocked this one out of the park. So this granite, by the way, you can no notice the nice beveled edge here on this. You again, you have the creams. You've got swirls of grays in here. Again, you could really pull up. If you wanted to pull out a green, you could do it. You want to do a blue, you can do it. 
beautiful neutral palette. Now take a look back behind me. It's important to note here that this is a gas community. And I know that a lot of you think that's odd that I would have to mention that it's a gas community, but a lot of you watching might be from the north and maybe gas communities is just kind of a no-brainer. But here in Florida, they're a little bit more difficult to come by. But in this case, this, uh, this community here with Cay Hovnani and the Highlands at Summer Lake Groves here in Winter Garden, this is a gas community. So you have the beautiful gas range, your, um, your microwave slash convection oven up above, and that means that you have your gourmet kitchen. So that means you have your double ov oven over here to the side. Not only that, but take a look at all of this additional cabinet and counter space. Look at the beautiful decorative cabinet that's right here. What a great place to put your cookbooks if you're an avid, you know, chef or something, or maybe you've got gorgeous vases from your grandparents that you just want to be able to display. Whatever, what a great place to do that. Again, more cabinets, more counters, more cabinets, more counters, and then over here you have your pantry. Really nice area over here. Okay, so in this home, the master bedroom is down. And that's really important to remember. A lot of people, um, well, you know what? I haven't showed you this part. Let's show you this part for it. But I do want to mention the master bedroom is down in this floor plan. That really is important because some people, that's a very big determining factor on the floor plan that they choose, whether it's to buy or to build. So here we are, though, from corner to corner in this particular area of the home. This is your family room. This is your the main hub of your home. Want to make sure before we leave this kitchen, do you see that you have an, a counter here with this island and you also have the pendant lighting already installed up above? Really beautiful. Now, this home is situated on a conservation lot. When you have a conservation lot or any lot that has a, a, you know, an especially nice view, maybe you have an oversized corner lot, those lots come with lot premiums, which means that lot's probably going to have a little additional money attached to it because it's such a desirable place to live and to build your home. This is one of those lots. So this lot is backed up to conservation. And what that means is that the area behind you is protected. It means you're not going to have more houses back behind you. You're not going to go out into your pool area or this gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous oversized lanai. I mean, it is phenomenal. Do you see the amount of space back here? You have this lanai that goes all the way down all of this green area, this grass space here, and then you have this dry retention pond and behind it you have all of the conservation area. You have so much space back here in the backyard. And you know what? I promise you that as soon as they finish the construction on the house next door to you, it's gonna be so quiet. It's gonna be beautiful. But I need you to take a look at this covered lanai. Imagine yourself with your friends and your family, and let's say you've built a nice pool or some type of an outdoor living area over here, and you've got this incredible lanai space. You've got, and it's covered, so you're protected from the sun. If you want the sun, you just continue right on out that way. Another thing I want to point out is look what's happening over here. This is all set up for your summer kitchen. So if you decide that you want to add yourself a summer kitchen out here, you want to put out your grill, you want to do some cooking, you want to add a TV, you've got all of the outlets in which to do that. Outlets right there, hang that TV, watch the game from the comfort of your lanai. Okay, so I think you're already sold on the house, but I still have to show you the rest of it. We're gonna go see the master bedroom. So the master bedroom is tucked back away. So when you came in the front door, the master bedroom is to the rear left of the home. Okay, so here we are, master bedroom. Again, really big. I don't wanna spoil that big old closet behind me, but here we are in the master bedroom. Really beautiful, big size bedroom. A couple things I wanna point out to you. It has a tray ceiling, but not only does it have a tray ceiling, but it has the crown molding. That's really important. Those extra touches, those extra features are what set some of these homes apart from the other. And this, this is really beautiful. Okay, so again, corner to corner, you have a lot of great space here in this particular bedroom. You have, um, you're located at the rear of the home, so you have this big double window right here that's gonna to continue to look out to that outdoor lanai space, your pool area, if that's what you choose to do and then all of that additional green space. All right, so we're gonna come into the master bathroom. Now, remember that pocket door that we saw a little while ago? Guess what? We have another one. I love that, I really do, because then you don't have the door that's banging into everything else when you open it up. Really nice, and I wish we had some more of those. So yay for you, Kay of Nanny, and in this floor plan, that's a great, great thing. All right, let's take a look at the design options here in this master bath. So now we're, we have this great long counter space. You've got your two sinks, and we're back to the same granite that we saw in the other bathrooms, the powder bath and um, the other area earlier that we saw. So you have two separate sets of lighting fixtures. You have this big space right here. You have your garden tub with your tile surround that matches the floor, and then you have this fantastic glass door shower. Now take a look at the glass door shower. This doesn't have the track on it 
And that's really important. I've, I've noticed a lot of buyers are like, can we just have like, like the freestanding glass door shower because they don't like the track. So here you go. You asked and now you have it. Okay, so in here you have your shower head. You also have a bench because I'm afraid that you might be tired because you were really enjoying your long day out in that pool area. So you might need to have a seat while you take a shower. Back over here you have your privacy door for the toilet. And then over here you have another door here for your, um, for your master closet. So take a look at the size here in this master closet. Big, right? It's enough room to hold all of your clothes, maybe. Okay, all right, we're gonna go upstairs. So it's kind of a big house, so I'm gonna meet you up there in 15 seconds. Okay, so now while we're heading upstairs, I just wanna remind you real quickly that using me as your buyer agent is always free to you. I do not represent the builders. I'm a licensed real estate agent here in the state of Florida, and I hope I can help you purchase your new home. Remember, using me is completely free. So give me a call at 407-848-8042. Mention that you found me by watching my videos, and it's $1,000 credited back to you at closing. Okay, so now we're upstairs at this gorgeous Harper floor plan. It's an inventory home here at the Highlands at Summer Lake Groves, built by Kay Hovnanian. Okay, so before we see the rest of this amazing upstairs, I want you to take a look just from up above of this gorgeous staircase that we talked about when we were on the first floor. Remember, it's the dark wood flooring, which is fantastic. The dark stain that matches, as well as the iron spindles, makes a really nice statement. Okay, so back behind me, and remember this, this home has four bedrooms and the master is down. So as soon as you come up that staircase over here to the left, is a bedroom with its own full bath. That's right. So you have a nice bedroom. This is located here at the front of the home. So you have a nice sized room. You have a nice walk-in closet back behind me. And I really like this. Take a look at this. Um, when you see this home from the outside, you'll see the exterior elevation and you can really get an idea of just how beautiful it really is. From the inside, you'll see that you have one regular full-size window. And then over here, you have a smaller window. Remember, when these windows are located up top, it's really small. Smart. The builders are so smart because that allows you this wall space to put a piece of furniture. Okay, that's really important to remember. Now this bedroom also has its own full bath. Another important thing to remember. Think about you and your family and who's going to be living in this home and how this home could work for you. So this bedroom has its own full bath. It's a shower with the toilet and the sink with the, um, the vanity, of course, and the mirror. Really nice though, it's really beautiful. It's always nice to have a bedroom in your home that has its own full bath. You just never know who's gonna come visit you in Florida. And trust me, you live in Florida, you got friends that you didn't know you had that wanna come visit you because you live in Florida. Not only that, do you know where you are? You're one exit down from Disney. We'll talk about that at the end of the video. Okay, so here we are in the main, oh, it's just the main, just the, it's the bells and whistles of this house. You have this enormous game room. This additional flex space upstairs is so important. The lifestyle that you have here in Florida is completely different from that in most other areas of the country. And to have these additional spaces, indoor and outdoor, to entertain, to have fun, just you, you and your family or your friends and your family that come and visit. But look at the amount of space in this room. Now I wanna remind you real quickly that if you go back through my YouTube channel, we actually have a video tour of their Harper model home. That model home is furnished and decorated so you can really see how this space could be utilized and function as a game room. A couple things I wanna point out here in this room before we, before we head on is that you have recessed lighting up above. So you can see the additional recessed lighting. You also have over here you have all of the components ready for your mega like you know tech center here you've got this is your invisible um, it's like a little shaft that goes down all the way down and then the cords come out here so that way you don't have the cords that are draping all over once you've mounted your TV up above by the way the outlet is up above too so again you don't have all these cords dangling down and then you also have all of your outlets for all of the other components of course the cables over there as well all right so there's two more bedrooms and one full bath left upstairs here we are in the bathroom if you could and tell. So you have this big counter space. Now one thing I like about this, this has one sink and a ton of counter space. There could have been additional sink here, but sometimes it's really smart to think about what's feasible and sometimes it's really nice to have that extra flat counter to put all of those extra things, those extra products, those extra even decorative things to be honest. All right, so you have this great room behind you. You have the privacy door for your tub as well as the toilet. Over here you have two more bedrooms. So this one is located in the rear corner of the home. And again, these rooms are really nice size. They really truly are nice sized bedrooms nice window over there and then you have a ton of wall space 
So you have a lot of versatility in this particular room with where you want to put your furniture. You have big sliding double doors there for your closet as well. And you have your other bedroom. This will be the last bedroom of the home. Same thing. You have a lot of space here in this room. Not only do you have a lot of space, but again, it's the one window in the room, so it allows the sunshine to come in and it gives you so many different options of where you can put your furniture. One other thing I want to point out, first of all, it has a nice walk-in closet back behind me, but it also has this little area, and it, we had it in the master too, and I don't know if I mentioned it or not, but um, in the master bedroom, it was very similar. The door was here, but then you had this whole little section that's kind of tucked back, which is really nice because when you put a piece of furniture here, the door's not going to bang into it, and it's also not kind of protruding out into the space um, you know where the other you know you're walking around in that bedroom so little things like that that you may not really know when you look at a floor plan on paper it's another reason why I do these videos and I hope you like the video so by the way thank you for watching make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel because I try to update it as often as I can with all of the I mean there is so much happening around in this area but with the model homes the new communities with amenity centers um, with inventory homes like this one that's ready for you now as well as even some resale homes that we have so make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel so that you can be updated with all of those videos and here's the next thing you need to do you need to go to my website at heartandhomeorlando.com and look in the upper right hand corner where it says wish list. Click on wish list and then fill out that form. That will tell me what it is that you're looking for. If you are serious about moving to Florida or if you just want to find out maybe what those possibilities are, make sure you fill out that form and then just submit that to me. Remember, using me as your buyer agent is always free to you. I do not represent the builders. I don't claim to represent the builders. I simply am a real estate agent here in Florida and I'm trying to do the work ahead of your move here because I know you want to move here and hopefully you find this video channel helpful. So again, give me a call, 407-848-8042. Using me as your buyer agent is always free. $1,000 back if you mention the video. Have a great day, everybody, and happy house hunting.